I need to know If you are serious Serious about us Yeah Guys, welcome to Mercedes AMG A45S Yes at Goodwood Festival of Speed 2019, Mercedes unveiled the A45 to the public, and I'm very pleased to say I'm totally impressed. Let's take a look. Why don't you tell me now? Oh, why are you calling me late at night? Saying you need a ride. So let's start with the fun one performance. The A45S, the creme de la creme of A45s, the range topping version, has 415 brake horsepower and 369 foot-pounds of torque, meaning this little hot hatch goes from 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds. So based off that, the A45S is the most powerful turbocharged four-pop car in series production. That's just unreal. So let's get on to the subject of styling because I think this car looks brilliant. I was a big fan of the previous A45. I think it looked very aggressive. I thought these also at the back look great. I think it's a really nice car. When I saw the new A-Class come out and then indeed the A35 that followed, I was impressed. I thought it looked really nice, but I still think it needed a little bit more. And fortunately on the A45S, it's just got that little bit extra. So at the front, we've got more prominently, the little canards on either side of the bumper, just to give it a little bit more angular, help the aerodynamics and look very aggressive. Obviously, we've got the big air intakes. You can see, actually, you can see the intercoolers behind, uh, which look brilliant. Uh, you've got the nice big new AMG grille, similar to ones on the new E63s, the, the GTRs uh, of salt. Moving around to the side, we've got nice side splitters. Not too aggressive, just kind of a little lip. Uh, obviously on this particular car you've got the big stripers on which does help a bit of the drama uh, and moving around to the back of the car you've got the air intakes which i can't i don't know if they're you know functional or not but it's obviously they're going to take air over the tire uh, and through the, the bumper just to help that that downforce which are great and fortunately we've now got dual pipes on either side where obviously the a35 is just that big oval pipe now we've got two on either side. I think they look great. And um, yes, they are just stuck on. You can actually see the little exhaust behind it. But I think they look brilliant. I think they actually fill the bumper a little bit nicer than the A35 exhaust do. Looking at the wheels, they're not my favorite style of wheel. They look a little bit small. It's probably because you've got quite a thick band on the alloy before you actually then got the spoke. So maybe that's, that's for me, that's not quite right. Unfortunately, I couldn't get photos on the inside, um, but I did get photos of a, of a similar A-Class, uh, and rest assured, the interior is very, very nice. Um, obviously, the new A-Class is fantastic. It's got those big, big screens if you want them in the middle. Uh, it's got the lovely steering wheel. It's got the really nice hands console. It's got everything sorted. So what's the verdict? Well, for me, I love the car. I think it's a great looking car. It's got all the right bits in all the right places. The exhaust for me at the back, the two tips on either side, make the car look better. I think the A35 just was missing that. Um, I think it's still got the nice wing on the back. Um, looking at the front, I think it's got the nice AMG up upgraded grille design, which I like. However, is it more angular and more aggressive than the previous A45? It's definitely up for debate. Uh, if you like the video, make sure to give it a likes up and subscribe to see future videos. But I'm gonna shut up, you guys enjoy. Thanks.